Hey guys, Woods Farm here. Just back out working on the uh, Volkswagen Kubel Wagon project. Um, it's fall, beginning of October. Like I said in my last video, I had a lot of stuff going on over the summer, but now it's time to start working on this again. Just going to do a quick review of where I'm at. Um, I did tinker on it a little bit over the summer. Um, you know, played around with the uh, electrical and did some wiring. It's got a new starter, new battery. The big news is um, a couple weeks ago, I decided to throw on these axles. And because the engine's running, I thought maybe I'd be able to get it to drive around under its own power, which I was able to do. Um, was able to start it in reverse, back it out of the garage, and then start it in first gear, drive it around. It was pretty cool. I did find that I will, the clutch wasn't working, but I did a little research, and it turns out these some of these aftermarket clutch cables are too long. So I just needed to shim it with some washers and a nut and the throw up bearing is now able to contact the pressure plate and disengage and I'm able to shift the engine while it's running. Now the problem with driving around right now is I've got no brakes. So that's the next thing. I'm gonna work on the brakes. I gotta get the master cylinder bolted down and that'll be the jumping off point for the brake lines. I also have to install this little uh, bracket which keeps the clutch and brake pedal from falling forward. Um, one of the problems I do have the engines running, it uh, starts pretty good, but it, and if you rev the engine up, it runs, but when it's idling, and it seems to idle smooth, but it after like 45 seconds to a minute it just dies like it's fuel starved so I don't know what's going on I mean the new fuel pump I did rebuild parts of the carburetor and clean it um, I don't know if I just need to it needs to be tuned a little better but I'll have to come back to that but hopefully if I can get the brakes sorted out in the next couple of weeks I'll be able to do a video uh, driving it around. Um, obviously, want to do that before the snow flies. These are the uh, original brass fittings. Uh, I just cleaned them up with some Simple Green and uh, polished them on the wire wheel. They look pretty good, so I'm just going to reuse them. I've got new uh, rubber brake hose. This T junction, what happens is the line comes from the uh, the master cylinder into here. You've got the rubber brake line. There's a steel line that goes from this side to this junction here and then it goes to a rubber hose. And then there's steel lines. There's another connection with a steel line that goes to the wheel cylinder. So on the chassis there's a mounting point right here. And that T junction And on the other side, there's another junction right there. That's the rear brake hose part numbers. I got these from uh, thinkparts.com. Okay, I bought the brake line kit because I had to redo all of the lines and uh, this thing was super cheap. If you were to make these lines and uh, add the fittings and flare, do it all yourself, I think it'd be more money. So these just need to be uh, sorted out 
and straightened and bent into the correct shape. So that's going to be the tricky part is just figuring out which which one is which. So it appears there's actually extra brake lines and I'm just trying to decipher which line goes where. The only one I'm really sure of, I think this 10 inch is the front driver side because that's really the smallest, shortest length. These 13s seem like they're too short to do the section at the rear tires. Just too short. So that leaves me with the two 17s um, for the rear, which is what I'm thinking. And then I guess one of these 22s does the center span at the rear from the T junction and it leaves the second 22 inch one for the passenger side at the front, which it seems a little long, but I think I can make it work. So I just put a post on one of the forums just to see if I can get confirmation on that before I go ahead and start bending these. That would mean that um, these 13s are extra and they won't be used which is possible that the kit is designed for other Volkswagens that's what I'm thinking you know maybe a Beetle or a van or something and that's just a generic brake line kit so I just give the uh, master cylinder a quick coat of a uh, clear coat just to help kind of keep it from rusting up too badly um, of course my original thing was so badly destroyed that a lot of this hardware was gone these are metric um, m8 by 1.25 I, I think a two inch will work but i couldn't get two inch these are two and a half inch it should be okay and i had to make these spacers um, you, i think you can get a kit to do this but you need a spacer because the Napoleon hat section of the firewall is kind of hollow and uh, if you were just to bolt through it would just crush down um, so you have a spacer in between so I just got some pipe and, and cut it to length they should work so this is the uh, plunger that goes into the master cylinder and this point connects to the brake pedal and you get a bit of adjustment there. So this is from the old setup. I just cleaned it on the wire wheel. Uh, I sandblasted this part. The threads are good and clean. Everything moves. So I'm just gonna reuse this. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna put some anti-seize on these threads. And I'm probably gonna put some on the end here as well where it goes into the master cylinder just to keep it from rusting up if you have to Gotta service it or take it apart again. there you go just goes right in there's a rubber boot and just sits in there I guess so this is pretty frustrating one of the more tedious things I've had to do so far that line doesn't look too bad I used a wire to make a template and this one looks like crap but it's gonna work. So one thing I did realize is the line that comes from the master cylinder to the back uh, T and then goes to each of the wheels. Um, I started bending it and realized that to get it to meet the uh, master cylinder it's, and then come down, it has to kind of go around the pedal cluster and then along the tunnel I think once I get that in, I'm going to have to feed it in and bend it as I go. 
and my concern is I won't be able to take it apart. So I stopped and I'm going to hope for some nicer weather. If that's the case, I'm going to uh, sand the primer off of these floors and uh, the tunnel, I'm going to put a coat of primer on it. The floors, I'm going to put kind of a, a rust coating on it. And, uh, and then I'll put the brake line on in. Anyways, it's a slow process, but uh, you get the idea. Um, I still have to do the... Uh, passenger side rear wheel and I need to do the front but uh, once that's all done you basically I just need that main line and I could actually hook everything up I do have to make a bracket and plumb in the brake fluid reservoir and uh, you know put the pedal cluster back in and I should have brakes Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, definitely like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of the uh, Volkswagen uh, Kubelwagen project.